Hello everyone, in this new Game Maker Studio video tutorial I am going to show you how to create a bitmap font or just sprite fonts like this one. As you can see it looks really great for games and all these sprite fonts or bitmap fonts has those gradients or te textures and there is no way to create uh, a font like this without using bitmaps or sprites so this is this is the reason why i wanted to create a video tutorial like this so let's let's begin i'm going to create a new project let's click on create and before I start with the project i'm going to show you how i create the bitmap font for this tutorial this is the bitmap font creator and I'm going to show you how to create uh, bitmap fonts using this tool. First you have to choose the font style. You can choose any one of this. I'm going to use I'm going to choose this one. Once you selected the font style, you have to select the size. I am going to use a, a big font for this tutorial. Here in field mode you can choose between color, gradient or texture. In the gradient you can edit the gradient colors and you can see there are many gradient modes. And Then in special effects you can choose you can check the outline and activate or or disactivate the shadows i'm going to use a big outline and i'm not going to use the shadow once you are happy with the font the only thing remaining is to click in go and bit but font creator will generate your font set. Now let's get back to the project. Now that I already created my bitmap fonts, I'm going to load it in this way. First let's create a sprite and then in edit sprite file create from strip. Let's choose the file generated and I'm going to check the smooth edge in order to make it look smoother okay here is the font uh, file now I have to match every letter with the cell so I'm going to show you how to do this first I know that I have 94 symbols here so here in number of image I'm going to put 94 bitmap font creator will always create a font set with native four symbols and here in image per row well you can easily see that there are 10 symbols per row and now i have to match the size of the cell with the size of my font the image with is 100 pixels and the height 100 pixels as you can see it's not looking really good so i'll keep tweaking these values until every font is perfectly aligned in the center of each cell uh, okay looks better now verify that as i said before that every letter is located 
perfectly in the center or of every cell or, or box so it seems my chap is down here it looks uh, fine now so I click OK and I'm going to name uh, bitmap font okay okay now I'm going to create an object I'm going to name this object j bitmap font I'm going to add um, a create event and inside this uh, create event I'm going to add the following lines of code first I'm going to create my bitmap font dynamically using the font at sprite function here we have to choose the bitmap sprite we created here if you remember and now using the ORD function we have to match the first symbol of the font set and this is the first symbol if you see here you must be sure that the first symbol in your font set is the same here and then just these values for separation and other stuff um, okay now I am going to create a counter variable and a game over variable and an alarm event is going to be uh, trigger in one second and that's all for the create event now I'm going to add the alarm event and inside this uh, alarm event I'm going to add the following lines I'm going to uh, decrease the counter variable by one and if counter is less than or equal than zero then game uh, over will be true sorry and I'm going to execute this alarm zero event again in one second and finally I'll add a draw a draw event and inside this draw event I'm going to choose my bitmap font with this function and I'm going to put my dynamically created bitmap font if you remember I created this bitmap font in the create event not so long ago <laughs> and now if game over is false then I'm going to draw the following text in this position continue now 
the cola. And I'm going to copy and paste this line. Um, but I'm going to modify the position. And here I'm going to show the counter the counter variable as a string and finally if game over is true then I'm going to draw the following text guess what yes came over and I'm sorry now the color and we are done so basically the object is created so the only thing remaining is to create a room I'm going to create uh, in settings I'm going to create a room with 60 frames per second and uh, here in views I'm going to match the resolution and the only thing remaining now is add the object and uh, here it is so now I only have to see how it looks let's wait a few seconds and there you have it continue six five four three two one zero game over well the the only way to create uh, these effects in font in fonts with gradients or text textures the only way to create this kind of font is using bitmaps or sprites so basically this is the reason why I wanted to create a video tutorial uh, on this subject on sprite fonts or bitmap font so well there you have it as you can see it's very very easy to implement and it's important to to use the the tool I showed at the beginning of this video, the bitmap font creator, because it you, you can create a very nice fonts um, very quickly. So well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and as always, I hope to see you in my upcoming video tutorials. Bye.